Hey, you guys. I'm about to do Aries reading. Let's see what Aries been up to. It's been a while, Aries. I know. But you guys, um, y'all support level is low. So I've been supporting Virgo because Virgos show mad love. But Pisces, I'm going to still do your reading today. Give you some guys some information. You guys need to know what's going on too. And if you like the reading, hit a like and subscribe. The reading may apply to you and it may not apply. It might apply to someone you know or someone in your family. Sometimes this information will stretch. And it might not happen today. It might come a couple of days because why I'm speaking about it today. And what is the rules? When you speak on something, most likely it'll come out the next day. This is why I play numbers and be hitting. Because why? I speak it into existence. I speak it into existence, meaning if I speak into these cards and whatever I pull out on you, Pisces, it might happen. Okay, so let's see and let's pray that is all positive. Well, all my cards is positive. I really don't have no negative cards. All right. Oh, my God. I guess the universe wanted you to know a lot of shit. God damn, Aries. The gods is... Look at this, Aries. The gods is talking to you. All right, Aries. Take a walk in the park. Daily. The universe wants you to take a walk. Start walking. I don't care if it's 20, 30 minutes. Take a walk. Get your coat on. I know it's freezing. Get your coat on. Get warmed up. If you got to get up 6 in the morning with nobody around and see you walking, walk. If you got to get start walking in the afternoon with everybody in the house, walk. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Walk. You understand? So the universe is telling you to exercise. Walk. Work out. You don't have to do all that extra exercising. Trust me. I lost a lot of weight just walking. Walking works the whole body, you guys. Never worry about losing weight. You want to lose weight? I got the fastest method, and I tried it for myself. This is how I know it worked. People thought I, I lost so much weight so fast. Just, just doing one thing, cut off the fat real quick, and I'm about to do it again. I ain't started yet. But as soon as I start detoxing my body, that is one of the things I do, and that's walking. Walking is my favorite exercise because it works the whole body, your arms. Because when you walk, you do your arms up. And as you walk and you moving, you move your stomach when you walk. And you make sure your body jiggle hard. I mean hard. And you do that for like 30 minutes a day. Shit, you're going to see the results quickly, real fast. Don't judge what you don't know. So if you don't know something, don't judge it. You know, people do that all the time. Judge shit they don't fucking know shit about. Give their opinion on shit they don't know nothing about. You understand? The things I'm telling you is from experience. Things that I went through in life. I don't have to create an illusion or, uh, or create some type of fantasy for you. Because I'm going to give it to you real deal. Why? Because I was taught. How to communicate at a young age. My parents taught me how to communicate with them. Police involved. So, don't judge what you don't know. And now the police involved. <coughs> the po Excuse me, guys. The police is involved in this situation. Aries, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, my God. Now you in the five of cups energy. Oh, come on, Aries. Come on now. Mm. You in the five of cup energy, which is the water, Scorpio. This signals emotional loss, but also that you may be overlooking what is still savageable. Savageable. And what has survived? Everything happened for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. So you in the five of cup energy, which is losses. Feeling emotional, feeling down, overlooking a situation. You feel me? 
what is still savageable. So something you savage, something that could come back, something that you could survive from, something that, you know, you got to see the hidden blessings in it. Five, of, You in the five of cups, that's water, Scorpio all day. Aries. I don't know what's going on. It's a fire sign that's either dealing with a water. <clears throat> that shit ain't come out yet. I can still feel it. It's like a little lump in my throat. And I'll be trying to push it up. Anyway. Thought I had to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. I hope there ain't no germs coming up in here. I'm about to open up these windows. Excuse me, I gotta open these windows because I just sneeze. And that's unusual for me to sneeze. I don't sneeze like that, so. Let me open up these windows. The heat is on too, y'all. I'm gonna open one side so we don't get that sun. This reading is going to be for Aries. Aries, love you yesterday. Love you still. I always have and I always will. So, someone is in love with you. The police involved. Don't judge what you don't know. Take a walk in the park. You need some new breaks. And you need to all change Aries. I felt special until I realized you talk to everyone like that. <laughs> Action is the found foundational key to success. They went back to a past just to make you mad. Mm. People do shit like that. I don't care about your past. I want to be your future. So even though they went back to their past just to make you mad, that shit ain't bothering you. I don't know why people do dumb shit like that. You probably was Aries. You probably was beefing with this bitch or beefing with that nigga from her past. And now all of a sudden, this past person want to come back around. And now the past person is saying they don't care about your past. I want you in my future. So the past person is telling you, fuck your past person. You come over here with me. <coughs> oh, shit. Aries. <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope the king or the queen pop up so we know which Aries this is, a femme or a male. Health insurance. Somebody needs to go get some health insurance. Somebody just bought a new car. She's not smart. Somebody around you is not smart. You find them to be very slow. They could be from Harlem, uptown Manhattan, Harlem. When your girl slash boyfriend friend laughs too hard at one of your homies jokes <coughs> so <coughs> when your boyfriend slash girlfriend laughing too hard at one of your homies joke you don't find that to be funny <coughs> all right excuse me i'm coming to see you so somebody is coming to see you airy somebody coming to pop up on you once you realize you deserve better, letting go will be the best decision you ever did, Aries. She's conceited. Sure is. Aries, if you conceited, why not? Be conceited. Why not? Everybody else stuck on themselves. Why not you be stuck on yourself for once? It's okay to be conceited. Just don't go overboard with the conceitedness and don't act arrogant with it. You understand? Humble yourself with the conceitedness. You can be conceited and be humble. You can know you're fine and attractive, but humble with it. You understand? This way is how you do shit. 
love like there's no tomorrow. And if tomorrow comes, love again. That's right. Keep loving. I'm not letting nobody stop me from being love or falling in love. That's a part of nature. You're going to fall in love more than one time. More than one time. You're going to have feelings for people more than once. When they, when you get in a relationship, your first relationship, and you guys broke up and you moved on, you forgot all about the first one, and you moved on to the second one, and you guys made it work. <clears throat> Everybody, excuse me, Everybody can't make you happy. King on boy, I just asked for. So we're talking to a male. Talking to a male king. She's not smart. So this male king thinks you not smart. It was meant to be. This male king is meant to be with someone. We're going to break this story down. This male king is meant to be with someone. Can we talk? I miss you. Now someone who was meant to be is missing you. They want to talk. Eight of Swords, a Gemini, air, air. Someone is feeling stuck in a relationship. The stagnation felt in the relationship could be in a various of areas, such as communication or intimacy. So the various area, area, areas are communication and intimacy. So either you guys having bad communication, you're not... Um, on the same level of thinking, this person think you're not smart. Um, there's no intimacy. This person is not having sex with you. Okay. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. So you got to be thankful for the people who put you through hell and tribes and tribulations. The people who put you do so much during the relationship. It gave you strength and character. It gave you a new challenge to build something else somewhere else. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I shouldn't have drunk that tea. I know how that shit do. Block anyone that mess with your insanity. So insanity. So anybody who fuck with your insanity, block they ass. Fuck with your peace of mind. Coming with mental games, manipulation, lies, deceit, all types of different emotions. People come with five, six different emotions on your ass. Awakening, delays, resisting, stealing or stalling and decisions. So this is the hangman. It came out on this side, the awakening. So you need to wake up. You resisting things. You 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 um delaying things. You are stalling indecisions. You you stalling time. You feel me? You blocking. Laughing with a friend is the best thing, kind of laughter there is. Yes, laughing with a friend is the best laughter. That's the best laughing ever, and you guys know it. That's the best fun when you're, your homegirl, you talk to them. You be kiki and laughing. That's feeling. A positive attitude gives you power over your circumstances instead of your circumstances having power over you. A true relationship is two unperfect people refusing to give up on each other. Moving out, someone moving out of your life, someone moving out. Queens, it could be going to Queens, the borough of Queens. Dope fiend, dope fiend. Oh shit, y'all, we got a dope fiend on board. Oh shit, y'all. I ain't mean for that card to come out. Let's put the dope fiend on the side. Clarify that later. Sexually attraction to you. So this person is sexually attracted to you. It was always you. Double confirmation. It was meant to be. King, can we talk? Eight of Swords, feeling stuck in a relationship. Taking action. This king is taking action. 
A true relationship is someone who accepts your past, supports your present, love you, and encourage your future. Of course, this is the true relationship. A true relationship, they're going to encourage you to work. They're going to encourage you to get out there and make those pinnacles. They're not going to sit there and look at you and be mute. If this person is mute, ain't saying shit, and you got all types of ideas and all types of goals and things in that nature, this means they don't plan on going with you. Because nine out of ten, if a person want to go to the next level with you, they're going to express how they feel, what they thinking, and what's the next move. A procrastinator is going to sit around like a Mr. Potato and ain't going to do shit. You don't want that type of energy. You don't want that type of laziness around you. You want somebody that's a go-getter, just like you, that's willing to get out there and make it happen for themselves. You don't want a dope fiend. This is dope fiend energy, laziness. What dope fiend you know got a fucking job? They too busy getting high. People get really comfortable and they forget that they can be replaced in a minute. Yeah, this person came into your life and got comfortable. And they forgot that they could be replaced. Ain't no, ain't no solid foundation here. You could be replaced. You not losing anything if you put this person out. Only thing that person could take is a bag of clothes and go. That's it, because that's all they brought to the table. They ain't bring shit to the table. That motherfucker can't even take your couch, your bag, your fucking TV, your car. He can't take shit. Why? Because he ain't rested in the relationship. Flowers. Now they want to bring you flowers. Now they want to fucking bring you flowers. Follow your intuition. It will always lead you to the right destination. Excuse me. Follow your intuition. That's right. It's going to lead you into, you know, the right destination, right where you need to be. New followers. You're going to have new followers. Whoever's watching me could be a psychic. You're going to have new followers. Don't worry. They're going to come my way too. I ain't worrying about it. That's why I'm making all these videos. I'm going to make as many videos as I possibly can because I know Later on down the road, five, ten years from now, I'm going to be glad I made these videos. Because five, ten years from now, each video is going to be higher than where it's at right now. You understand? I may not see the reward now, but later on down in life, I'm planning for the future. You see? So start your channel now. Don't worry about if people like or not. Because later on down in life, they're going to hit them likes. You understand? And plus... YouTube going to open the door for you. Once YouTube open that door for you and let your video through, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Why you think certain videos is popular than your other videos? That's because YouTube is allowing certain videos to go through. You may be out of my sight, but never out of my mind. I miss you. <coughs> then go that king again. That king is missing you. That king is missing you. And what I mean by a king, not a page that's coming with small offers. Not a knight that's coming in with fast romance, one night stand energy. We're talking about a king, someone that's already established. We're talking about someone who have their own place. We're talking about somebody who have their own vehicle. We're talking about somebody who has their own bank account. We talking about somebody that do not depend on no woman for anything. That is a king's status. You have to earn your way up to a king's status. And the way you earn your way, you start from the page of pinnacles to the knight of pinnacles to the king of pinnacles. This is how you work your way up in status. Now, if you're not on that level, then you need to get on that level. It don't take nothing to get on that level. All it takes is applying and loving yourself. Because to be in a king status, you have to love yourself. Because most of the kings that I know love themselves. You understand? If a woman disrespects them, they kindly walking the fuck out of her life. 
You don't have to tell this king twice to get out. You don't have to tell this king what he got to do for himself. The king know what he got to do automatically. Why? Because his mama taught him, his father taught him how to what? Survive. How to what? Be a fucking king. So we talking to a king right now. When I'm with you, I always feel like seconds. When we're apart, days feel like years. So this king is feeling your loss. This king is feeling lost without you right now. He missing you right now. You understand? He's he's like when he spent time with you, it feel like fucking seconds. Like I don't have enough time. Like, I want to spend all my time with you. Like, as soon as you come see this person, you probably go see this person for fucking 10, 15 minutes. It's killing them. It's killing them. And you know it, too. Whoever I'm speaking to in the view, they know it's killing them. They know it. They teasing them. You're probably not even um, interested in this person like that. And you ain't giving them that much energy of your time. Because you know the relationship probably ain't going to go nowhere. I never thought anyone would ever make me smile, laugh, and catch my heart as fast as you have. Huh? <clears throat> what I said. <clears throat> He's... <clears throat> he never had someone who made him smile and laugh and catch his heart as fast as you have. This person ain't know the feelings is strong, Aries. This person is in love with you. And it could be a king. So far, only a king came out. And then queens, which could represent this, my borough. I put this as the queen's borough. Brooklyn, Queens, Queens. All right? So save money and money will save you. <clears throat> Pray, prayer is the cure for a confused mind and a worried soul and a broken heart. Stress goes to, if you stress, go to a massage parlor, go to church, go to a bar or a club, or go to a rehab clinic. They got rehab clinics for people who's going through depression and stress. Some Everybody can't handle stress. A lot of people can't handle stress. Only the strong can handle this. You understand? I just learned at a young age. You understand? I've been hurt a long time ago when I was in my teen years. So I already knew what men can possibly do to you. You understand? And I just always told my son, myself, back then, if a man don't want me and show he don't want me, I'm walking away. I kept myself on that paddle for many years. You know if a person wants you. You know they're going to do right by you. You understand? They're going to match your energy. They're going to match your money. They're going to fucking be there for you the way you need them to be there for you. They're going to grow with you. They're going to elevate with you. You understand? It's teamwork in this game. You can't be in a relationship and it's only one-sided. What the fuck you in a relationship for if it's one-sided? If the relationship is one-sided... You might as well run. I'm telling you right now, you're wasting your fucking time because you're going to miss out on great opportunities that the universe could be delivering to you, but you're blocking your blessings by dealing with fuck boy shit or fuck girl shit. Therefore, what the creator has joined together, let no one separate. So now somebody want to come to you and want to marry you. So Aries, this king is coming. He want to marry you. He's tired of being separated. He's tired of thinking about you. Um, his heart is, you know, filled with joy and love because of you. You understand? You like a fucking dope fiend to him. He's hooked on you. He's like a drug to you. That's the only thing I can see why a dope fiend came out. You, He's addicted to you. This person is addicted to you. You are my life. Look at that. You are my life. This person is obsessed with you. You feel me? He's addicted to you like a fucking drug. And you know, dope fiends love they fucking drug. They got to have that shit every day. Just shit, three, four times a day you see them shooting up. So just imagine a person love you so much. You like a dope fiend to them. 
Look at that. This king is in love. He's like a... Your love is like a drug. Your love is like a drug. Ball clear, downtown Brooklyn. I don't know if this ring a bell to anybody. I've never been there. It's downtown. I visit, but I've never been in there. Stop being friendly to people who pretend to like you. That's right. Happy New Year to come. A whole happy new year to come. So this whole happy new year is going to be happy. You're going to be in a good place. And stop being friendly with people who pretend to like you. Aries, this is your reading. I hope you get some messages from here. I hope I've read up enough cards. I just hope that um, you see the point in the reading. It's just words that's being delivered. You can either take it how you want to. But I hope you take it in a positive way. And I hope you um, come back to my channel to see if I drop any more videos. Depending on how well your video do. If it get more than 10 people, you in there. Okay? Bye.